And the first thing we'll do is I'll just right click on this image I've got on the desktop and say edit with GIMP. So I use GIMP to do all the editing here of the images. So there's a full size image and I just want to crop this down a bit. So I use the rectangle select tool from the icons on the right and I'm just going to draw this rectangle round to about the right size that I want it for my website. And if I just select the top, I can drag that down. Okay, so I'll hit enter because I'm happy with that. And I'll go image, crop to selection, and then it crops it down. Now I want to make it black and white. So I go desaturate from the colors option, and it does that. And I'll use the lightness option, just click OK. So now we have a black and white image. And then I just want to scale this image down because it's far too big that we need for the website, just so it loads up quickly and uses less memory. So I'm just going to change the width to a thousandth and then the resolution to a hundred. And if I zoom in, you see it's still a decent resolution image. And then that's it. So that's our background image for Tableback Trainer. So I'll just export it as a JPEG. I'll give it a different name of TBT background, Tableback Trainer background, dot JPEG, and then export it. And I'll just shut that down. And that's it, as simple as that. So now we have our black and white crop image ready to upload as a background on Turboback Trainer. Make sure you check out the other videos in the series where I show you how I make TurboBackTrainer.com.